Write it down in Houston cars in Texas Everybody will know the calls and cornbread You should have heard the way that his mama calls him baby Daddy calls him boy Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a hair tutorial. I got a few requests for this. This is just a bouncy, voluminous, spring, straight hair type of look. Very easy breezy. I am the type of person that doesn't like curly hair on myself. So I am always having straight hair and sometimes I don't want it to be pin straight because it could get a little old, a little tired. So I like to do this to give it a little more bounce and to give it a little bit more volume with it, without it being curly so I could still get the best of both worlds. So before we get into the tutorial, I just have something really, really quick to say. I want to do a questions video because I know I'm new to YouTube, so you guys don't really know much about me. So I would love, love, love for you guys to comment below, or if you don't want to comment, just send me a personal message. Any questions that you want to know about me, I will be more than happy to answer them for you. So um, depending on how many questions I get and how quickly I get them, depends on when the video will go up. So don't forget to give me any questions and let's get started. First, I don't put my extensions in. Obviously, I do those last for this look because if I do my extensions and I just do the ends of the extensions, my natural hair is going to be straight. It's not going to go in and blend with the extensions like we want it to do. So if you do wear extensions, I suggest doing this putting the extensions in after you do your hair. So leave your extensions to the side, let them hang out. And then we're gonna start. So I just go right under my ears and I go all the way back. And I clip this part up. So now I take these two sections, the one section in the back, and I pull to the sides. Now this isn't like normal curling. This is why it takes really, really quick. You don't have to worry about doing this section, then this section, then this section. It's annoying. It takes too long. That's part of the reasons why I don't like curling my hair. So you're going to have the one section here and one section here. Now you just take one of the sections. And I'm using this, um, it's the Hot Tools Curling Iron. I want to say it's the two inch one. So we're going to take, take, take. Go all the way to the ends of your hair. And then curl it in. And then you're just going to wait a few seconds. It depends on your hair how long you need to leave it there but it shouldn't be longer than 10 seconds then take it out try to keep it in the curl form so you don't have to try to figure it out so basically you're gonna have something like this and you can either take a pin curl clip that looks like this if you don't if you are not familiar or you could just take a regular bobby pin. I'm just going to use bobby pins because I can't find my box of pin curls. Who took them? So you just leave it hanging like that. Now we're going to do the other side. Everybody down in Houston calls in Texas. Everybody so then we're going to take that section down. Then I usually go from where my eyes are, right by my temporal bone. So my temples, I go all the way back. You know, again, this depends on how much hair you have. I don't have a lot of hair. So, not that I don't have a lot of hair, but it's just not like super, super thick. So then again, you part it down the middle. And now from this section, I just, I split each section into two. So you're going to have four sections to do. So they're pretty thick sections if you can see. Cause this look, I like how it um, it's more natural and bouncy instead of seeing like defined curls and stuff like that. I don't, I'm, you know, that's not my style. Now just be careful because it's obviously going to be really hot. I'm just used to holding hot hair. So it doesn't bother me. So I take my bobby pin. Clip it right in. And there you go. And I'm going to do that for each section. Should I just call for help? So 
How's it going? So now for the next section, um, I only have two more sections left. The top section, in order to make it like really bouncy, I like to just, from where my, I guess, eyebrow arches, I just go back and I take, I guess about this much, I get a little bit more. So I take this much and I just put it in the clip because we're going to do something a little bit different with that section. So you just keep it in a clip and then you do the same thing that you've been doing for this section right here. So again, you're going to split it into two. I'm going to take the curling iron, clamp it down, go all the way to the root. Um, not the root. We're actually not going to the root for this look. We're just going from the mid shaft down to the ends of your hair. So make sure you get the ends into the curling iron or else you're going to have some nasty looking fish hooks as they call them. Everybody down in Houston calls in Texas. Everybody so now that we are up to the top section, since this is, we want this to be voluminous and have a lot of body, let me try to get down a little lower. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small section in the back. So now the small section just looks like, just looks like that. And what I like to do is we're gonna tease, we're gonna take small sections like this and tease them. So we're just gonna spray. And then tease, one, two, three. And then we're just gonna smooth it out without brushing out the tease. You just wanna smooth it out. So now we're gonna go, instead of doing it side to side, we're going to do it from front to back. And this you can go down all the way to the root. And then you're going to just clip it. This section right here, this um, this is like a shorter bangs part, so I don't like to curl those. Once my hair is all down and I let everything out, that's when I like to go back in and fix those short pieces. So I spray, I tease, smooth, and curl. So now that we look absolutely crazy, that was ridiculous, but it's okay. So now you take your hairspray. Um, this one is okay. I don't have any more of the one that I usually use, but this is the Vidal Sassoon Pro Series. It's extra firm hold. It's a good hairspray. It's not my favorite, but it is good. So you just spray the whole thing. Not too much because your hair is straight. So if you have too much hairspray in it, it's going to be ugh. So I'm going to start on my extensions. So if you don't have extensions, you know, you can completely skip this part. Fast forward to the end if you'd like. But if you do, then you can be part of the cool club and stay with me. So I brush the extensions. Make sure you get all the knots out because you don't want some ratty ass weave going on. So now you're going to do the same exact thing that we've done with the rest of our hair, except it's just unattached to our head, so it is kind of a little bit easier. So, if you have extensions, you know that the clips are obviously here. What we want to do, since it's going to be clipping on this way, we want the curl to go in towards the clip, in towards our hair. 
So I'll usually, I know this is kind of gross, but I do it. Don't judge me. So I'll take the clip part, I'll put it towards my face. I put it in my mouth. Ew, yuck. And then I go like this. And that's that. And I hold it there for a few seconds. And I let it out. You see? It's like that. Of course, you pin it. I like to spray it. Oops, sorry. And there you go. And now I do this to each piece. So now that everything is done and we have our weave stresses just chilling out here waiting to be beautiful, you can go ahead and do your makeup, do whatever you need to do. Um, keep them in as long as possible so it holds the bounce more. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it now. but. Keep it in as long as you can until before you have to leave the house. So now you can start taking out the bobby pins. So over your hair is done. It's going to look really natural like that, really bouncy. So just spray it a little bit. Not too much. You don't want them to be too stiff. This is a bouncy hair tutorial. Not a stiff tutorial. So now take your weedies. Now clip them in however you clip them in. I'm just going to skip through this video because if you guys want me to do an extensions video, I will. But for those of you who have extensions, I'm sure you know how to put them in already. So if you need to do some extra teasing on the top, feel free. This is totally up to you. So I parted mine in the middle as I usually do. To run your fingers through it just to kind of blend everything. Now it should look like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, let me know what you think about it. If you like the hair tutorial, I can do so many more things so just let me know what you guys want to see I do these videos for you so I hope you guys enjoyed bye guys